The purpose of this short video is to provide you with an overview of some of the features of Adobe Acrobat Reader that will help you navigate through your new ebook. One of the first things that I do when I open a file in Reader is to close windows I'm not going to use. So you'll notice this little arrow on the right hand side allows you to close this frame. It's important though to open the frame on the other side by clicking on this small arrow. One of the features on this side is called bookmarks. Bookmarks essentially form a table of contents that's auto-generated for the ebook. If you click on that, the table of contents appears. You'll see the front matter for the book, and then you'll see each of the chapters in the book highlighted in blue. This allows you to easily navigate through the various chapters in the book. You may not always want to see the full version of the layout of the book, so you can use this little icon at the top left to collapse this menu. In this case, you see the structure and organization of the book according to the six core domains of the culturally responsive and socially just counseling model. If you're looking at domain five, for example, you can click on that domain, expand it's so that you see the chapters within that particular domain. Use the little arrow to collapse it and look at another domain. And you can see that within domain two, we have three chapters. And you can navigate easily between those chapters. You can go back to the top to collapse the menu again or to expand the menu. For the most part, this bookmarks tab contains the high level organization of the book. However, there are two places where I have added some additional content links. In chapter one of the book, I introduced the culturally responsive and socially just counseling model. You may decide that you need to refer back to that model as you're reading through the book. And so I've provided an additional link here that takes you directly to the summary of that model. Here you can see the list of the six domains and 18 core competencies in the model. Chapter two provides an expanded version of the model in which I introduce the learning outcomes and key concepts associated with each of the core competencies in the model. You'll see that I've included an additional link here in orange that takes you directly to that section of chapter two that allows you to then navigate to various competencies within the model and see the learning outcomes and key concepts associated with that particular core competency. You may not always want to keep the bookmarks open because that pane takes up a fair amount of space on your page. So you can click on the bookmark to reduce that and increase the font size for your reading. Use these navigation tools at the top to continue to increase or decrease your font size to the size that you feel most comfortable with. One of the things that you may find as you're reading through the book is that your scrolling doesn't work properly. So it's important to also be aware of another feature of Adobe Acrobat Reader. This particular icon, if you click on it, causes you to scroll only to the top of the next page, which is really frustrating if you're trying to read an entire page. So you want to make sure that you activate this enable scrolling in a single pane view. This allows you to scroll easily through the ebook without that jumping from the top of one page to another page. If this particular icon doesn't appear, then you right click on this menu bar at the top, anywhere where there isn't an icon, go to the display tools and click on enable scrolling. You'll notice when I click on it now, that that icon has disappeared. So I'm going to click on it again and enable scrolling. That allows me to continue to scroll easily through the book for my reading. Another important feature that's particularly important in this book because of the interactive nature of the book is the back button. This is the back button in Adobe Acrobat Reader. However, it may not automatically appear on your navigation pane. So again, right click on the navigation pane, go to show page navigation tools and click on previous view, which is essentially the back button for Adobe Acrobat Reader. 
You'll notice that my back button has now disappeared. So if I right click again, go to page navigation tools, previous view, I've reactivated my back button. This is really important because there are embedded links throughout this book that help you navigate in a nonlinear way. So for example, if you click on community development and capacity building, you're taken automatically to the glossary definition for that term. You can use your back button to go directly back to the section of the chapter that you are at. Let's try that again with something like organizational development. And you'll see the definition for organizational development. You could scroll the long way back, go to the model in chapter two, go to the competency that we were in, and try and find the position in the book that you were at. But this is a long process, so it's much easier to simply use your back button to scroll back to the section of the book that you were reading. The last set of tools that you may find useful as you read through the ebook are the comments tools. I'm going to close the bookmarks to make space for the comments tools. Click on this icon called comment. And you'll notice that this opens a new menu bar at the top. Let's go to the chapter by Susan McDonald and try out some of these tools. For example, you can insert a comment anywhere in the chapter that you want to come back to and reference. So I might say, this is a place, oops, I want to revisit because da 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 da. You can also choose to highlight particular sections of a chapter. So if you're reading along and you come across a sentence that's particularly meaningful, you can highlight it. You can also add a comment. I highlighted this because there's a number of other tools on this menu that you may find useful. So take some time and explore. For example, you can use this drawing tool to circle things that you want to come back to or that you find particularly useful to underline, etc. You can also, if you're really ambitious, add a recording. So say there's something that really strikes you that you want to remember, or you make a connection to something else in the book. You can insert your recording, start recording now. It's recording what I'm saying to you at this point in time. Stop the recording, and then later you can come back and play it. Start recording now. It's recording what I'm saying to you at this point in time. You'll notice that the recording is showed up on the right hand side in this panel as have all of the other comments or edits that I have made as I've gone through this chapter. You can close this panel and come back to it at any time. This enables you to return to places where you've made comments so that you can review them. I hope these tools are useful as you begin to explore through the ebook and organize it in a way that works for you.